hello guys welcome to my channel i am here with another important and informative topic which is slope what is slope or gradient and what are different representations of a slope in this video we are going to discuss different expressions of a slope as you can see over here slope can be expressed in degrees in ratio or in the form of percentage why slope is important and uh, why it is necessary to learn about the slope or gradient in civil engineering or physics i am going to tell you in this video so please watch the full video to get the better understanding of the topic so let's start our today's topic first of all one must understand what is slope or gradient slope is defined as a surface of which one end or side is at higher level from the another level or it is the rate of rise or fall along the length of the road with respect to the horizontal and gradient is the measure of how steep a slope is okay let me explain it in the uh, upcoming slide with the help of some of images first of all as you can see in this picture the side of a road is being made in slope because slope cannot stand still uh, if it is cut in a straight line we have to provide some slope to make a better confinement so this slope is provided on the side of the road to avoid sliding of the soil so slope is again very necessary as you can see over here in this picture this is the retaining wall which is constructed on either side of the road okay as you can see over here this line is in the form of slope and slope is represented in the form of ratio one ratio 0.2 and here you can also see that slope is represented in the form of ratio the bottom or base of the slope is also in the form of slope and here the slope is also expressed in the form of ratio and here the slope is also in uh, in the form of ratio so the understanding of ratio is very important what does one ratio one mean it is very important to learn other example is as slope is defined as the ratio of vertical distance to the horizontal distance and sometime it is expressed in the form of degrees as you can see over here uh, slope is also expressed in the form of degrees in the case of staircase or in case of building and in case of roads you have to provide slope to reach a desired level and you have to lift the one side of a road to up and to to the desired level so slope is very necessary in civil engineering or any other science related subjects as i discussed in the start of the lecture that slope is expressed in different forms such as in the form of degrees or in the form of ratio or in the form of percentage okay let's suppose we have a 45 degree slope it would be equal to 1 ratio 1 it's mean that one horizontal and one vertical it's mean that if you travel 1 meter or whatever unit you are using if you are using fpa system or mk system it doesn't matter but if you have a slope one horizontal one vertical it's mean that you have to travel 1 meter in the horizontal direction and 1 meter in the vertical direction to get a slope of 45 degrees and this slope is expressed as 100% okay now these slopes are interconvertible let's suppose we have one horizontal and one vertical if we use the trigonometric formula to get the answer in degrees we will use the formula tan inverse okay to get the answer in degrees tan inverse of when 1 divided by 1 as you can see over here in the picture similarly if you convert 39 degrees or if you convert this ratio into degrees you will use the same trigonometric formula that is tan inverse of 1.25 sorry tan inverse of 1 divided by 1.25 that is vertical divided by horizontal slope is the ratio of vertical to the horizontal you will get the answer 39 degrees similarly if you want to get the answer in percentage you will use this formula that is vertical distance divided by horizontal distance multiply by 100 you will get the value 
परसेंट और हंड्रेड परसेंट लेट सपोज वी सॉल्व द सॉल्व दिस टू गेट द आंसर इज इन परसेंटेज वी विल यूज दिस फॉर्मूला वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस इज वन एंड हॉरिजेंटल डिस्टेंस इज वन पॉइंट टू फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड वी विल गेट एटी परसेंट सिमिलरली अदर डिग्रीज आर थर्टी फोर डिग्री एंड इट इज इक्वलेंट इन रेशो टू द वन पॉइंट फाइव हॉरिजेंटल एंड वन वर्टिकल एंड इट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द स्लोप सिमिलरली थर्टी डिग्री एंड इट इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव हॉरिजेंटल एंड वन वर्टिकल एंड इट इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सेवन परसेंट सिमिलरली एज यू कैन सी एवर है ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री ट्वेंटी टू डिग्री नाइनटीन डिग्री एंड नाइनटीन डिग्री इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव परसेंट by using these formulas you can convert these values into degrees or percentage as desired that's all for today for more videos you are requested to please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get more video updates